What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our best players for all budgets series. Today we're taking a look at centre midfielders and there's one big decision you need to make with centre midfielders, whether you want kind of like a defensive presence or a total creative player, right? And there's a couple of mixes in here as well. So Kai Sado is 100,000 GP. He's kind of like Kante. He's kind of like Kante. I think he's, he's pretty much like a DMF and the role that we talked about as a destroyer in our DMF video, if you want to check that out. Caicedo is just another kind of link there, right? 100,000 GP. He's a very, very defensive build, as you see there, that we have a built on eFootballDB. Similar, we've got Limar. So this guy, Limar, is a center midfielder as well. He's also down as a box-to-box, -box, but he actually has a little bit more attack and prowess to him. 76,000 GP. He's got a bag of player skills, a lovely variety of player skills, interception, man marking, one-touch pass, pinpoint cross, and low lofted and long range shooting. So you can see there just a, a build that I've made of him if you want to pause the video at any of these builds. But as I said, you are going to have to decide whether you want kind of like a really energetic, lots of stamina, kind of buzzing around the pitch, blocking balls, intercepting tackles, you know, fouling, um, disrupting the play as a box to box, or else you want somebody with a bit of, you know, a bit of skill, a bit of passing ability. All of these guys that you're seeing, including Valverde at 180,000 GP, are kind of falling into that kind of, you know, box-to-box -box role. Goretzka as well is down as a box-to-box. -box. He has got a rating decrease since eFootball 22. He's not as powerful, but he's still the beast, man. He's still the best, I think, center midfielder in the game. If you're looking for a perfect, you know, kind of like offensive awareness and defensive awareness balance, he's got brilliant player skills, doesn't need anything with the one-touch pass there, and got a good engine on him as well. The stamina is a bit of a concern. And then speaking of creative players, so this is when we're talking about box-to-box -box versus the likes of creative playmaker or orchestrator, right? Arthur is here for 32,000. His skills are what really puts him over the top. Look at all the player skills that he has there. Absolutely incredible. He is the only player in the game as a center midfielder that has these variety of skills. Double touch soul control, one touch pass, true pass and weighted, outside and low lofted as well as interception. It's a very, very unique card. Try him out if you're looking for a cheap CMF. And then on to players, again, that are kind of like the complete package, that are able to defend, that are able to kind of zip around the pitch. Every time I do a video on Goretzka or I do a video on CMFs, people have the debate whether it's Goretzka, whether it's Bellingham, whether it's Pedri or Barella. Now, I will say Barella is an absolute beast, but he is kind of a required uh, taste in terms of how you train him up. There's so many ways you can train him up because he's brilliant in so many different areas. Now, with this build here, we've actually gone very heavy with the passing and we've also gone very heavy with the defending. And I would say that if you are picking him, I would say kind of like pick which one you want, whether you want him to be an interceptor, you know, with sliding tackle and defensive, because he does still have one touch pass. You don't need to go to 85 with the low pass. You could save a lot of that and put it into more defense. Or if you want to use him in a little bit more advanced role, you can actually push him up and take away a lot of his defense there. So these type of players can do it all. Their ratings are so good. Their stats are so good. And their player skills are so OP as well. And then speaking of another player like that, we've got Bellingham. Now, I definitely think, and if anybody is watching my road to glory, for 260,000 GP, you could potentially get three of the guys on this list compared to the cost of Bellingham, right? And I still think that Bellingham has a couple of limitations in that he does feel a little bit clunky. But if you learn how to play with him, I'm using him on my road to glory. And apart from his finishing ability, he's an extraordinary card. His player ID is brilliant. The runs he make for a box to box are brilliant. He's super defensive, super quick on the ball. Um, when he has it, like with his little touches and turns for a big man, he's able to muscle people out of the way. He is kind of Goretzka back when Goretzka was at the top of the, the, the pyramid back in eFootball when it first launched. And I do think that he is the ultimate box to box unless you want to go for the total creative option, which is why my main man is at number one, and it is Pedri, 170,000 GP. He can train up into the 30s with the levels, insane ability, insane dribbling. I mean, he is basically Iniesta reincarnated um, from the older Pez games. His ability on the ball, his balance, his tight possession, two key stats in eFootball 2024, if you're struggling to maintain possession and to pass the ball around and you're like, oh, I'm playing with Bellingham, I'm playing with this guy, I'm playing with that guy, try Pedri, try Gabby, try players with low pass, tight possession and balance very high. Uh, you can see here with, with uh, Pedri, we've actually boosted up a lot 
of his stats across the board. So we've actually put some into defending him. We put some into lower body. We've put some in everywhere. And he's got 90 balance, 90 low pass, 90 stamina, 82 acceleration, 80 defensive engagement. Pedri plays way above his stats. I guarantee you, if you're playing against Pedri, he will tackle like Patrick Vieira and pass like Tony Cruz. He's just one of these cards that is like, still got that Pez magic from the older series where they play way above their stats and it's just built into the card. So that is it for our center midfielders. As I said, there's no real rating or ranking on these one to eight or whatever, but I would say that best box to box is probably Borella or Bellingham and then Pedri for your creative option. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know your thoughts. Peace.